No, sir. Okay. Trend line? Trend line, yes. Is there about the trend line? Uh, when you draw the channel. Okay. Uh, on the bodies or on the wicks? How do we do that? The bodies are the wicks we are trying to add, right? For example, yes, this is the upper line and this is the lower line, right? Okay. The upper line, upper level which we took, it's right. Okay. Now, this candle is not touching the trend line. Okay. Okay. This is wrong here. We need to touch the body. Touch the body. Now, if the body is not touching, but we will take the mid of the body then this way. Right? Okay. So, mid of the body when I'm taking, then you can see this inverted hammer is directly rejecting from the trend line. Right? Yeah. This candle is rejecting from here. 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 Right? Yeah. So, Acting as well. point A will be your higher point. Point B will be adjustable. Okay. This point is adjustable. If you take this one, and if you are looking that the price may cannot touch your trend line. But if you find the differences be between this candle and this candle, then you can take the half of this candle. Right? Okay. In case, if there is a wick here, in case there is a wick in the green candle, right? Okay. Then that time you select the wick of the green candle, whatever the half of the red bo candle body touch or not, it's not a matter. Then you touch the lower candle wick, right? Okay. So one more example. Here there is an example, right? A trend line which I'm drawing from here, okay. So now I'll touch this one. Is it right or wrong? It's wrong. It's wrong. Perfect. When it will be right? This is right. Uh, half of that body wick. But now there is a wick, so we will choose the wick, right? Okay. And now you can see when I'm choosing the wick, the price is respecting yeah but if i choose the higher wick price is respecting no no but here it's respecting now it's clear yes okay some more on the cloning then mm, cloning now yes. cloning you will find that the which is the setup it's a, a it's a b Within the A setup and B setup, which is the lowest reversal point? Uh, near to the, B. This is the lowest reversal point, right? Yes. So we will clone and put line at the lowest reversal area. Lowest reversal area, you can use the lower wick, you can use the body if you are thinking that this body is not touching, then put the two lines. As we are using the color change zone, it will be the clone zoom, right? Trend line zoom. So this is your okay. trend line. Now, still there is an above body. You can clone again. And fix here. Not a problem, right? Okay. So when you put at the upper level, which is away from the this level, you can see this price is directly rejecting from this level, right? Yes. So this is the way. When you will draw, show me the examples. If it's need to be correct, I will correct it. Right? Okay. It's adjustable. Good. Yes. Now okay. I'm going to continue. Step price action today. I'm not starting the uh, volume because uh, two point uh, two topics are remaining in the price action, which it must need to be complete. The structure of the reversals and the structure of the continuation, as in the first day, 
we learned about our strategy and if the weak support weak resistance price broken it may continue right but yes. in which way it will not continue in which way it will not, not continue. continue we need to understand so there is a structure and there is a structure and there is a structure and there is a structure these are the structures of the price movement in this structure price is start from the low then high then higher low then higher high. here high low lower high lower low here low high higher low higher low lower high high low lower high lower high higher low then high mm. right okay yes now the weak resistance it may can appear here where let's i'm going to draw the candles a price is moving up and then there is a weak candle right okay Our, this is a strong candle okay okay then sellers enter sellers show us a weak support okay yeah. then price moved up and broke this level okay if there is a resistance level which is strong it may reverse right yes and then price is going to be continue and now i saw that the price is breaking the uh, low high high low high low weak support is breaking right okay. yes. as per the strategy when weak support is breaking the price may can continue right yes now here we are trying to take a decision that the, we can buy we can sell sorry we can sell yes. because it's a weak support it's breaking so we need to be continue we are thinking but there is the another example which is the same sellers enter weak support buyers moved up then sellers enter and broke now in the both cases there is a weak support is breaking if you find low high higher low and lower high then price is breaking it may continue it may continue continue when you will see price making low high higher low higher high now it will never continue it will reverse back mm. got it point yes okay. so now you will understand when the weak support will work and when the weak support will work as a continuation and work as a reversal these two points you need to understand that is the structure if the price comes from the higher high then this weak support will show you the reversal when the price comes from the lower high it will be the cause of continuation okay and then we we can say this one m double top right oh. yes but this is not a double top this is not a look the first top 
This is only the first stop. Yes. But when you find the high, then lower high, or when the high, then the similar high, that will be the double top. So this point, you need to be careful, right? This is a alone okay. strategy, but that strategy we will put into the strategy number one, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. This is also a different, another strategy of the structural reversals breakout, breakout, breakout reversals. But we are using the strong and weak support and resistance concept. So that concept we are going to put into the strategy gotcha. and that will be our filter. There are some examples okay. of this uh, strategy. And also, if in the opposite case, if you find that will be the same thing, you also, you can match these candles, right? Yeah. Come here. I'm going to show some examples, right? Check here. The price starts from high to move at a low, then move up uh, to the lower high. My right? screen is a bit like it. Okay. Screen is clear? Now it's clear. And then price is at the lower high, lower low. See, is it a structure? Yes. This is structure means? When Only price reverse, when price broke this area, the next candle will reverse back. Now this is a strong resistance or weak resistance. Strong. Strong. If in case if there is a weak resistance, also it will reverse back. Okay. See here. Which is this resistance? It's a weak, weak. resistance weak. or a strong? Weak, weak. As per the yesterday concept, that the strong, weak resistance, when it's breaking, the next market will continue, right? Yes. yes. But now, as per today concept, if the price comes from the high to low, lower high to lower low, in that case, this weak resistance also will be the cause of reversal. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yes, sir. Some more examples. This is a strong resistance, right? Yes. But high, low, lower high, then lower low. Lower low. This is the structure. This is structure sometimes so many candles, sometimes four to five candles can create the same structure as well. It's a strong resistance also, it will reverse back, as you know, but we are talking on the weak, right? This is a strong support, low to high, high to higher low, higher low to higher high. high. This is strong support is broken on the higher low, it is reversing back. We know it's a strong support, it will reverse back, right? Yes. Here, this is a, also a strong support, which is breaking low to high, higher low, higher high. Okay. Then it's breaking, then it's reversing back. Right? Yes. This is now. Oh, high to low then this will be your lower high, right? Mm -hmm. But is, this is which kind of, which resistance? A strong, weak? Oh. Strong. A strong. A strong also it will reverse, but the structure says, it's again another confirmation, it will reverse back. You can enter, right? See here, low to high, higher low, higher high. This is a strong support. 
which is breaking here it's not breaking here it's closing right here it's yes closing on the support it's reverse break next time it's breaking it's reversing back two entries we got from here another this picture high to low lower high lower low this resistance is a strong weak strong or yeah, above one is weak yeah. it's a weak right yes. even this weak resistance is breaking market will reverse break mm -hmm. so this is the another strategy but this strategy concept is similar to our previous one strategy if you want to trade alone this strategy it's up to you if you want to put that strategy into the prior strategy then it will be more understanding able because that strategy you are become becoming a master so that's why i'm adding day by day concepts into the strategy right yes now one thing i'm going to share if any strategy if i share with you in a one day maybe you will forget maybe you will miss some concept a one strategy every day i am updating in the in the 10 to 15 days then there are so many chances to become a master of that strategy that's why every day i am adding some concept adding some concept right yes now the momentum what the momentum we need to understand what is momentum is it power yes momentum is power but we don't know less or high momentum does not say as a it's a less power or it's a high power but less and high both thing we can count in a momentum right yes for example we got a candle then we got a candle then we got a candle then we got a candle this movement of the candle is what showing us the power is increasing or power is decreasing decreasing if the power is decreasing it means it's losing momentum or you can say buyers are losing control buyers are losing control if the buyers are losing control then what you are expecting next time sellers sellers if the sellers are losing control what will you expect buyers so this is the sign of losing control as per the candle's body so can i say very high momentum right yes yeah. can i say momentum slow down Mm -hmm. can i say little momentum yes can i say losing control yes mm. very high momentum momentum slow down momentum low momentum little momentum losing control in case if there is a small candle then momentum increased more increased exhausted now a point where it will be exhausted it's a momentum 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 but it's a exhaustion okay so you are thirsty if you are thirsty when you are drinking water you will choose this concept for drinking water you will choose this concept of drinking water tell me 
first one first one right yes because you was very thirsty when you drink water now your thirst becomes a way some lesser than the first one right yes yeah. slowly slowly you will stop drinking means you are thirst completely oh now no thirst right yeah. here yes. when you are not drinking water at the first hour you have a thirst second hour thirst increase third hour third, uh, third hour more thirsty this is the exhaustion your point now if you will not give me the water then i am going to die right yes you just to understand your real life examples in the trading this is also harmful this is also harmful right yes. in the trading when the momentum is totally loose price will reverse back when the price is exhausted price is reverse back but how we are understanding the exhaustion and losing control it's up to us let's see a candle which have a 45% rejection that is a sign of losing control right any candle which have a more than 45% rejection at the topward side in the green candle a cause losing control control the momentum does not need so many candles in a one candle you can understand the control is losing here control is it's losing losing this is the sign of losing control where this control is losing on the support on the resistance on the trend line on the confluence where trend line and resistance when horizontal crosses the the trend line crosses the horizontal at this point that is called the confluence level price is moving up at this point the market will lose the control right yes who lose the control sellers lose the control buyers take the control price is moving down who lose the control Sellers. sellers who get the control buyers buyers how to know exhaustion candle it's very simple if that is a exhaustion candle then count the last one 2 3 4 5 candles if this the sixth candle is a bigger than the last one 2 3 4 5 it is called the exhaustion candle what is the meaning of the exhaustion candle it is the last effort of seller of seller a last effort means everything we sold out now price will move up so take the the some examples from the chart okay This candle is bigger than the last five candles. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Price reverse back. Yes. This candle is bigger than the last five candles. Price reverse yes. back. Yes. When the candles are equal in the size, then low, very low chances for the reverse back. But if the if you find the five candles and then the last candle is a very bigger than the previous five you will find the reversal reversal for one minute higher time frame higher reversals see ya I, i have a question yes so the um the exhaustion candle has to be bigger than all of them combined or individually no the exhaustion candle size will be greater than the previous 
five candles size one by one not combined okay. combined one by okay. one okay okay so this candle is a bigger than this candle this is bigger than this one this is bigger than this one this one this one but if i combine these five candles then this will be this one candle this is more bigger than this one right yes so one by one okay a reversal can uh, exhaustion candle you can see the reversal got it yes sir these candles are equal in the size in the last five series right yes mostly you will find now this candle when i'm counting i'm counting that the minimum three candles must be in a row how many three. then if the two candles i count from the buyer side it's okay but if you find the second candle it's not a reversal it's not a exhaustion it's a momentum right yes yes sir means momentum means it will continue a momentum candle continue a momentum candle continue got it yes sir if the big candle which is big from the previous five candles but the number of this candle is not the third in a seller's candle then it's a momentum candle mm -hmm. getting point confusing no i understand sir yes fawaz yes sir yes. are you yes, getting sir. yes sir and other members also getting point yeah. yes sir okay. yes if you find any confusion then you can ask see now this candle which crosses the three minimum candles it is a sign of reversal crosses the how many candles three green candles if a one red candle which crosses the three consecutive green candles that is a pattern three strike down this pattern called the three strike down. three line strike sorry three line strike pattern it's an it's a name three line strike so a three candles in a row a broken by one candle this is a reversal pattern it may continue but if it's close it's if it's appear at the end of the trend it is a reversal sign it is a reversal sign so for example in the start of the trend if i found so see this is a uptrend am i right yes now this is the end of the trend or it's the start of the trend this one and okay end of the trend am i right yes yes sir so you can see this is a reversal sign price will reverse back this is the end of the trend because already we saw so much trend movement right yes it is called the three line is strike okay it's a pattern it's a candlestick pattern if you find this pattern in the start means the price will move up at the end price will move down see mostly you will find these type of candles but this is not a three strike a three strike means previous three candles green or red okay if i found here any then i am showing you another it's very rarely rarely you will find not every time now there is no any pattern here right but today we found that is not in a course because i'm not getting so many three line strike but i found and then i shared with you okay there is no error right now the momentum again we are going to continue here as in the start we understood about the sequence is there is a sequence yes yes it means 
द मोमेंटम इज नॉट लूज इन मोमेंटम इज नॉट लूज इन बट अगेन इफ यू फाइंड द थ्री दैट द मोमेंटम इज नाउ लूज इन सी and the second attempt is losing are exhausting so if you find the sequence it does not mean the price is losing control it's moving as per the size that is the another sign to continue in a trend okay but sometimes if you find this movement this is the exhaustion every candle is increasing in a size when every candle is increasing in a size it is 110% confirm it is it will be the exhaustion right right yes. so increase so if, if the size is not increasing means this is a routine movement this is a normal movement this is a common movement price is running as per the structure this is out of structure let's find the example which is out of structure see here this is the structural again it's a structural now it's a out of structure right yes yes we see the price is stuck here you can see here as per this size this is out of structure am i right yes sir because as we know the big candle the medium will be half of the big candle and the small will be the half of the medium candle so which is the medium candle here sure this one this one the double size of this candle will be this one and this candle is it a double size no it's a more than double size you can see this is the medium candle am i right yes if double size this will be double size but this candle is a four three time four time bigger than this one means it's a exhaustion it's a exhaustion sometimes next next candle not reverse the one martingale after it will reverse you can think about it right sometimes because of any exhaustion again there will be any exhaustion and then the second mostly it will reverse it okay yes sir and sometimes it can fail in the start maybe the trend was in a down trend and it immediately starts so this cannot be count as a exhaustion it is possible right because after this exhaustion now understand this point is very important exhaustion then which candle is this one continuation continuation what it means bias gave us a clear message that yes we was exhausted but now we are giving you the clue that we are going to continue exhaustion is it a continuation sign no do you got the difference yes sir yes yes sir there are so many points but i hope that when you will trade you will understand and you will apply each and every point after exhaustion reversal after exhaustion continuation after exhaustion after one more candle we are going to enter the trade so this point is very important after the exhaustion candle maybe so many traders if they are placing here trade one martingale placing here second martingale placing here third marting placing here fourth marting placing here fifth martingale they will win it's wrong it's a i'm not suggesting more than one martingale only one martingale to save the money got it yes sir yes. but if you are using the second martingale means you are responsible for your own money okay now look look at here this is what this is a normal or it's a abnormal candle abnormal very good abnormal why the price is moving always 
downtrend in a euro usd if you know one year before what was the value of euro and what was the value of usd i think when i was one year before the euro if one euro is equal to the 1.25 usd or sometimes 1.35 usd right okay. yes today 1 euro is equal to 1.05 usd because from the 11 month market is falling down euro is dropping in versus usd and now the euro is at the support level from this month maybe price will start in a uptrend and maybe 5 to 6 month more price will move up in a up direction it is possible in this month how i am going to show you we are going to check the one month candle which one one month from how many month price is moving down quite like 6 months 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 right yes yes and now the price is where at a support at the support so after this month which is today is 28 means after 3 days the price may can move up if this support is working if this support is working Good. then price will fly from here if it's broken then within the 3 month you will see the usd will be expensive as compared to the euro because from previous so many several years the euro is the expensive from the usd but now if it's breaking and it's moving more down these points are need to be recovered look at how many points are remaining 4952 495 if the 495 again gained by the usd means the usd will be expensive right yes yes sir the last time this was a which price check this price this price 1.23625 right and today is what price 1.04 1.04 means as i told you that 1 euro is equal to the 1.04 and 11 month before a 1 euro was equal to 1.236 dollar right now what's the mistakes of the traders some traders when they are trading in a forex market they bought and they decide to hold one day market will come at my price right okay for example if i buy here 11 months before in my account there are 5000 and i decided i need to be hold one day price will come how much need to i wait time long time 11 month past price falling down 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 so my decision of holding is right or wrong wrong uh, even i have a 5000 dollar in account now if 11 month move down as per my lot 0.05 for example these 5000 dollars are now gone from my account my account is blown right yes yes sir is it possible that the big money more chance to win no no your decision for example if i enter here within the one month if i not get the money 
I took the one hundred dollar loss or two hundred dollar loss, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then I sold here a same amount, right? Mm -hmm. Then won all of that money. Now, how much? Maybe three thousand dollar I won, right? Yes. Yes, sir. So don't if if someone because I know who is trading in a binary, same he is trading in a forex market also. So many traders they're fine. Yes, that's not. Right. If you you don't have a stop loss, means you are the very 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 uh, dangerous type of trader. Means without a stop loss, it, there is no trading. And same thing without limit. In binary option, you cannot be the successful trader. If you don't have a stop point and a stop point in both cases, in a profit, in a loss. If you don't stop, means or you will become a zero dollar, or you will become a thousands dollar, right? No, yes. But thousand dollars, it's not possible. Zero is possible, right? Yes. yes. So when I'm trading, for example, I have a one hundred dollar, and my money management says twenty percent you can take a risk, and thirty percent you have a target. Now it's to me in today's day, I'm losing twenty percent or I'm winning thirty percent. If I achieve any one. I will stop the trading, and I'm strict on my rules. So when you are trading, then you decide how much you have to lose, how much you have to win. So always think about it. Today's points which I shared, put in your filters. Understand the higher time frame, then the lower time frame. For example. If today is a minus day, today is a seller. minus day. Means today is a seller day and only sale option in a Euro USD. Mm -hmm. But in a sale option, if you are trying to buy, means you are going against the market. You are taking the risk. There are so many chances you will lose the money. Got it? Yes. So when you will start the trading, then think that which day is running out. If it is a red, then only find the red opportunities. If it's a green, then only find the green opportunities. Now, if we compare at the one minute, as per our strategies, so today, if you find there are so many red candles as compared to the green candles, right? Yes. So many red candles means so many selling opportunities. For example, this continuation sign fails. This continuation sign fails. This continuation sign fails. These trades fails. This continuation sign win, and this continuation sign win, and then this continuation sign win, and then this is failure. But on the first morning, it should win, right? So, which trades are winning in the in the direction of the trend? Mm -hmm. See here, this is a strong support. When the strong support will be breaking, market will reverse back. Why it's not reversing back? Because today is a seller's day. So today we will never trade this buy. Only we will trade the sale. Today is a Sellers day, weak support is breaking. We will go with the sale. Got it? Yes, sir. Here, a strong support broken. We are not trading. Maybe it will not reverse. Maybe it will not reverse. Right? Yes. But you can trade as per the 50 moving average. Where? As per the 50 moving average. 50 means a one hour. 50 means adhere to the one hour. 50 SMA or EMA. Anything you can use. See, it's a 50 also. 
above the candles above if the candles are above the 50 you can buy if the candles are below the 50 you can sell only so this will be your filter now work on it inshallah tomorrow we will learn more new things on the volume and today we understood about the momentum understood about the exhaustion handle understood about the losing control and then we understood about the market structure which will be the reversal breakout or uh, it will be the continuation breakout so these things put into your studies and in a practice tomorrow inshallah we will learn more things new things right brothers thank you thank you so much inshallah we will meet thank tomorrow you, sir. Thank, thank you sir thank you sir